Say it again, Ernie. <laughs> All I said was, welcome to the idiot's guide to putting a plow on a truck. <laughs> so we're going to put the snow plow on the pickup truck. It's the middle of August. Hot as hell out here. Oh, it ain't that hot. But uh, I bought a new controller off eBay. Uh, and I want to test it. So if it don't work, maybe I can send it back. But uh, I've been wanting to do a video to show you how I store the plow in the summer. You know, buying a plow is only half the uh, problem. Then you got to figure out where you're going to store it during the summer. So, uh, put it in the house. nope. I can't really drag it to the back. Because how do you get it back there and how do you get it back out front? And it's just a big pain. So I ended up putting it at the end of my driveway here. First couple years I just put it up on a couple blocks. And uh, blocks? that worked okay. Yeah, I, I just use like small cinder blocks, those things there. I hear not that you were using these things. And uh, last year I built a little platform there. So it doesn't go into the ground, it's just a little cement on top of the ground so I can take it out if I ever need to. So we'll show you how it's, it's stored in there. Okay so you know here's some salt that I carry. I don't salt drive weight but I carry a little bit of salt in the rear end for weight. Uh, I've tried different things, stone and sand, and salt seems to be the best way to go. A stone, a stone is just a big mess. You have to figure out what to do with it in the spring and stuff like that. Sand just turns into big ice cubes, gets wet and then frozen. Salt seems to be the easiest way to go. So I store it during the summer. You see I put a tarp on it. And you can see that tarp is falling apart. Look at that. That's a fairly new tarp too. So that's what the sun does. Uh, I I made a small pallet, homemade pallet. And you can see I got it screwed down here. I, I screwed the tarp down so it don't flap in the wind. Of course, if Ernie would let me park my plow in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you always said you can put it in the garage if you want. <laughs> yeah, but there ain't enough room in the garage now. Did you forget? What a friend, what a friend. Well, look who's talking. <laughs> okay, so the main thing I wanted to tell you is I pile a lot of stuff around it on purpose. Because then if they try to steal it, it'd take them a half hour to get to it. Right, Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> More than half an hour. It'll take all night. Plus it's chained down, it's chained down to the ground, so I have a video how I chain it down. <laughs> okay, so storing this salt, it's only been out here like what, six months maybe? Yeah. Probably March, April, May, June, July, August. And th these are solid, solid as a brick. I suppose they'll bust up, but uh, it didn't keep as good as I thought it would. A couple of them were okay, but some, some of these are like pretty solid blocks. Yeah, they're like that. They're Did, like that, you know, they, they stay, they, you know, they're used for a long period of time. But once you use them, hey, they're good as gold. <laughs> <Almost>. <laughs> Okay, so here's how I store it. Huh? Just a bunch of chains. The chains are bolted to the ground here. The chains are the chains are locked to the ground. I got a couple of shackles cemented into the ground. Two, three bags of cement down in the ground with a bunch of rebar. So probably goes down three foot at least. And then chains around here too. Okay, so there's there's chains around this part too. 
so they can't just pull up and lock it to their truck and pull away. Got chains around there, chains around, locked to the ground. I take the pins out. And then all that crap in front of it. So how long do you think we've been working this now, right? Half hour, hour? Yeah, just clearing out the mess. So you can see here I got two blocks. I got two blocks, two pieces of wood. And that should be the right height to pull right up on the... That should be the right height to pull right up to it with the truck. First year I had it trying to put it on the truck, Ernie thought it was crazy. <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you doing? And I had to help you like a <laughs> Yeah, st stumbling through this, trying hey. to figure out how to do it. Hey, we're from Harbor. <laughs> I touched it up in the spring and painted all the rust spots. You can see it's rusting a little bit here on top. I think I took the tarps off a couple of times during the summer just to let it dry out. There's that there's that platform I made. I was gonna take the wood off and then I said I'll have with it. I'm I was going to take the wood off and then I just left it on there. So, There's only about two, three bags of cement. And uh, if I ever need to get it out, out of there, you know, it's just sitting on top of the ground so it's not deep. Probably won't last long, but probably lasts longer than me, right Ernie? Yeah. <laughs> you might outlast that. These things here, these things here, that's what I worry about people stealing, but uh, I don't really care. I plan on putting new ones on. Anyways, if they want 20 year old uh, socks, they can have them. Good luck getting them off. <laughs> Those bolts are so rusty. <laughs> We tried getting the bolt off for the for the for the motor because I bought a lock and we couldn't get that bolt off. It's so rusty. My neighbor works on cars and he had a wrench on there. He was bouncing on it. He was jumping up and down on it. And it wouldn't break loose. And he didn't want to heat it up because it's too close to the motor. So he said if he can't get it off, crook can't get it off. So. Yeah, probably get it with a hacksaw, but it would just take a while. Okay. Okay, so here's the new controller. It looks just like the one that came with the plow. But it ain't wireless. I thought about getting the joystick type, but they cost a little more. A little easier to use from, from what I can see in the other videos, but uh, I figured I'd get one of these first and hope this one works. They sent all these other gadgets, I guess if you have different, a different adapter. But that one should plug right into mine. So I'm hoping that's my problem. Sometimes the plow don't work. I got I, I got I got to jiggle the wire. So that's what we're gonna find out here in a bit. We hope. Ready, ready? Yep. Now the movie, folks. Okay, so we're ready to see if we can get this thing on. I put the pins on. I took the wood off the front of my plow. I put that wood on the front to protect the. Uh, the mechanism there. Clevis. I'm, I'm going to make Ernie stand in front of the plow there 
and hold it trust him with that with and, the and, and hold the plow so in case I push it through the fence oh, yeah, Ernie can get in the way <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> and if I get cut in two I'm no, I know who, who to go after hopefully it should be level it should go on nice and easy uh -oh. so that's the plan There's nothing we can do but hope for the best. Okay. See how good I did last winter. Uh oh. Okay, so we got it in there. Now we're going to uh, now we're going to put the pins in and uh, just lift up this one part. Here. I'll I'll lift this up and just twist that pin a little bit. 
bump in the hole. Hopefully. Ready? So that was the purpose of building that that uh, So that was the purpose of building those two blocks with those two two by fours. So the plow clevis or whatever they call that will match the plow sitting on the ground so I don't have to jack nothing up. So it makes it real easy to put on once you get it lined up. I, I don't have to get the jack out here and part around with the jack and stuff like that. See how the plow's on? But uh, it's, it's still like two inches above the board now though. Yeah. Okay, so now we put the controller on and see if it works. Okay. Okay, so now we'll plug the uh, new controller in. Turn the power on. That that red light don't don't look good, but hmm. oh, it 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 this main plug. I always forget the plug in this. That might help sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I just, <laughs> no, he just said, dummy. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. It works. Yeah. Eureka! Whoever she is. Youch! Now we're going to back it up and do a, give it a test run. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I always forget the main plug. <laughs> Putting it on and taking it off. Mm. How could I be so dumb? You're from Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. Yeah. Thank God it still works.